Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel. Well, this is Miss Mandy, the former Capital FM presenter Mandy Saro, who has been trending on Twitter for the wrong reason. Mandy is said to be a bully to her colleagues and anybody else who comes around her. Well, the people who have felt her, her wrath are Michelle Talami, Anita Nderu, and also Gitobu Kome. Well, this all started when Miss, uh, Miss Mandy posted this. And I quote, I truly dislike people who aren't big on accountability. You can't go around doing things that hurt people, then are afraid to be accountable for your actions. You are stunting your own growth. And while this did not go so well with Koome Gitob, who have previously worked with Miss Mandy at the radio station, and, and also this is what Gitob said. Well, in response to that, he, he said, just sitting here watching the person who constantly terrorized and brutally bullied me the entire time we worked together. Talk about accountability. And from then, so many threads uh, went down and Gitobu said that the media personality would mock him because he wasn't able to afford an expensive lifestyle. While quoting his words, he said, this woman would constantly call the entire office to a stop to make fun of my clothes when I didn't have enough money to buy the trendy sheet. She, she and her friends thought only those deserving to be in their presence had to wear. Well, Gitobu also added that this woman made up such hurtful nicknames for me behind my back and laughed in my face because I couldn't afford to order fancy food for lunch so I would cook my own food and carry it. And to another thread, he said, this woman felt because I didn't have an accent as well polished as hers. I therefore was not deserving to be a radio presenter like her and would happily remind me whenever I cross her, which only happened when I breathed near her. Well, after this story topped the trend on Twitter, Kenya started resurfacing past instances where Miss Mandy had been accused of being hurtful to others. Some netizens shared an excerpt of past stories run by a local uh, newspaper where she was accused of physically assaulting her then colleague Anita Nderu at the Fairmont Hotel. So the excerpt read, did Miss Mandy smash Anita Nderu? What is right that Capital FM's presenter Miss Mandy beat up fellow female presenter Anita Nderu to a pub at the recent Capital FM's team bonding at the Fairmont Hotel last weekend. According to Word on the Street, the two who had posted a picture on Instagram looking all body fought with Anita having to be taken to hospital thereafter. Quotes, she was thoroughly beaten and she had to seek medical attention, claim, uh, claimed the source, who added that the fight was alleg st allegedly started after Miss Mandy deemed Anita and Deru stay in the hotel bathroom as too long. The event took place the same weekend. Capital FM owner Chris Kirubi embarrassed host Amina on Twitter by reminding her of where she worked. On the other hand, the shared text also say, stated that Anita was badly beaten and to an extent that uh, Miss Mandy al almost threw her on fire and that is when their colleagues intervened. On the other hand, Michelle Talami did not also miss out and she also shared her ordeal with Miss Mandy and this is what she wrote. I am sorry you've had to go through this. I do believe you. I've gone through my fair share of violent hate from this person and for absolutely no reason. Literally on the first day we are we met before I became somebody, they treated me so bad. Reflecting back, Michelle said, We were at Onyx Club for a mutual friend's birthday. I will never forget it. I've kept my distance ever since, but I always keep the day old calm. Her friends are really sweet and amazing. I hope they can help her be a kind of person. Keep sharing and keep your head up. Now, this attitude seemed to have cut across uh, the entertainment industry. And Miss Mandy was also has also had a bad ordeal with Butita Eddie. And Owago posted this about the story. 
On 21st of August 2013, Eddie Butita started following his dream of being one of the best Kenyan stand-up comedian, but he faced the first worst challenge in his life. Guys, never ever lose hope in life, no matter what other will tell you. Believe in yourself to the end. This was in 2013 when some lady by the name Miss Mandy wanted to end Eddie Butita's hope in comedy. Thank God Butita didn't lose hope in his dream. Remember never to lose hope in if uh, life because uh, no condition is permanent wali to the row who is laughing now Eddie Butita is a living testimony god never disappoints and well, in explaining his terrible ordeal with miss mandy he also said that the lady literally denied him and told her told him that he could not laugh off his jokes i well, guys, that is what has been trending all over social media's uh, platforms. And uh, I don't know what you think about Miss Mandy's character because for as long as so many people have laid their complaints about her, I really don't understand it. And, well, you are up to date, guys. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell. Well, for your opinion, please leave us a comment through the comments section. We shall be glad. Well, guys, thank you for watching and tune in for the next video. Thank you and bye-bye for now.